hello. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's the crack of dawn. It's not the crack of dawn. Why would I say that? It is early. Oh my gosh. It's before coffee. That's why I can't talk. It's, it's before coffee time. And Sophie and I are headed out. It's a blizzard. Oh gosh, this door. All right, oh, hold on there. Wait a minute, is this one yours? All right, hold on there, princess. Sophie and I are headed to the barn because she has lessons. But it's a winter blizzard. All the schools are canceled and I'm gonna try and drive in a blizzard. I sent a message to Brandon and said, Oh, you dropped your bucket, did you? I sent a message to Brandon. Yeah, I look a little crazy. Send a message to Brandon and said, Brandon, it's a it's a blizzard. And he's like, it's a little snow. So I think that means that I'm still on the hook for the lessons. I still have to show up. Sophie's excited. Wait till you see what she's planned for today. She's a crazy girl now. Uh, before I go, I just want to catch you up on what happened yesterday. Yesterday, we did a little bit of a switcheroo, kept our horses separated from Sky. Holy heck. Gracie was so excited. She was like, oh my God, I can run. I can be a pony again. Like Sky has her standing stock still all day outside, away from everybody, just stock still. It's awful. Sam came home yesterday from work. We weren't here. And he said, oh my gosh, what happened to Gracie? She's so happy. And Willow was really happy. Willow thinks she wants to be with Sky, but Sky's a bully. And Willow was living it up too. I never want to put her with my ponies again, ever. Can't do it. We put them together for the afternoon, and Sky was running Gracie off so bad. She, was, ugh, it's awful. It's awful. Happy calls. Hello. I made it. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Good job. Hopefully. Wait, wait. To the yard All right. How are we gonna feed these ponies today? So I think what we're gonna have to do is, um, yesterday I rotated putting them in and out. So I think ponies are gonna stay in for breakfast. So Gracie has time, Gracie was loving it. We let Gracie out yesterday. Right. She didn't go out. Yeah, so we kept them in until lunch and the ponies into lunch and, and her out. And when we let the ponies out, Gracie wouldn't go out. She's like, I love it in here. I never want to go out there. It was like crazy. She, we had to force her out after like a half an hour. She just was so happy to stay in. She was just walking around in here. Yeah, like she was not going out. Peter Sky stall. Peter Sky stall. She's like, oh, I will get you. But yeah, so that's oh, that's where we stand. She drank Sky's water. So basically, uh, Sam's gonna separate the fields. This little field that we have, like we did before when. We had, I don't know, a long time ago, he's gonna separate it at the back, and that way um, we can keep everybody out at the same time, but we can't do it until he has time because he's at work and we're so busy. So this weekend, we're gonna figure it out so that they can all always be out together. But yeah, that's what's gonna happen for now. And then Sky breaks down the fence. Sky is not gonna break down the fence. <laughs> don't say that stuff. The one that separates them. No, no, it's gonna be a three strands electric. All electric? Yeah, nobody ever did that before. Nobody ever, that one's always been good. Okay, we are ready to roll, you guys. I have to go make a tea. <laughs> then we're headed to the other barn, to Brandon, and then some more stuff. Come on. My oh. busiest day of the year is today. Just joking, but I have a busy day today. Right, Rubes? Oh. Stay happy, little horses. Stay happy, Gracie. Stay happy, Willow. Don't get There's something so satisfying. About sitting in a car completely blocked in with snow and you can't see out. Do you love it? Actually, somebody, one of us, Gabby's not here. One of us is gonna have to get out and you. clean the car off. I just sat down and I'm broken body. Oh, well, you're not. Remember, I fell. I'm still very sore and my belly muscles can't pull me up. Yeah, I've been there. I'm so I've bad. been there. Well, let's see what the wipers do. You're headed off to the barn to pray that we get there because I'm not a good driver. But I just want to tell yeah. you guys before we go that the 
only thing you have to give this world is your story. Your story is your gift to you and to this world. So go out there and live your own story. Like I hear so many stories about people giving up their story to other people, letting other people write in their story and you can't do it. I can count on one hand how many times as an adult I've given away the rights to my story and had to fight to get it back. But your story is beautiful no matter how no matter what you think your story looks like to other people, your story is gonna look completely different. So keep going guys, keep building your story one page at a time. Cause I guarantee you, it is beautiful. We're almost at the barn, but we always stop at the store. Sophie has to buy something for Brandon. She loves him and she wants to buy something for him every time. I'm paying for it because I wanna say it's just me. You're paying for it? Yeah, I wanna say it's just me. Because you wanna say it's just from you? Seven ninety three. Oh, Sophie appreciates you. Five. Sophie has so many saddle pads, and you she, want yeah, you want to try it again? I don't know if he'll do it, but every time she asks Finn, "What saddle pad do you want, Finny?" and he always chooses this one. Do it the exact same way. It was so funny. All right. Okay, Finny. What saddle pad do you want? Always. Oh. He chose this one first. Yeah. Oh. He's he like, doesn't what is? know what this one is. He wants both. He, no, he wants that one. That's the one. He always chooses that one. He's like, this is my favorite. You also look really good in this color. Yeah. Finn has a lot of good in him. Like, he... I'm tickling you. Put your head down, Finny. There we go. <laughs> He like tries to help though. He know he understands that Sophie's little and that she can't do everything as fluid and easy as maybe Gabby can and he's good about it and he tries to help her. Yeah, he waits instead of Yeah, like he could be throwing fits. I but think the I think the different grain is a huge change in him. <laughs> it's a longer flap. It's a longer flap? So the reason that the flap is a little bit longer, it's not super long, but the reason it's long is because um, Sophie's growing. She's 10. Like, why would we spend this much money on a saddle that's going to fit her for a six year. months? Yeah, or a year because literally, so, okay, take him in there and we'll fix the saddle because that is not going to work. Do, do walk over the poles, change direction, get them bending, get them circled inside leg, just inside leg. A thing I learned, which is really, really hard in this indoor, is stay at least a meter off the wall. So how far is a meter? Past that little trench that y'all have. Yeah. It's hard in the indoor. Especially with the jump so close. Pin was a superstar, you guys. Amazing. He is a totally different ride with Sophie on him. Totally different. I think she's going to be able to manage him now. I think there will be some ups and downs, just like with every horse, but I think they're going to get it. I was proud of you on this ride, Sophie. Finn didn't give her away when I was more scared. And then when he knew that I started to trust him a lot more with them, he can't turn How was the cantering away? You might be able to ride him in a softer bit. Because he's used to the normal routine. All right. Wait, you're gonna let him run around. Take off his bridle. I know. Come on over here. We're gonna let him run around for a minute. I bang my head against the wall. Yes, somehow I just never
survived lessons. So Sophie's plan today was to ride Storm and Finn and Brandon was gonna ride Chino and school him because that's what has to happen for the show season because Gabby's really trying to do well this year. And um, the weather just got so bad so fast we can't all stick around. So I have to go pick up Jack now and it's gonna be scary. I thought Dad was getting him. I thought so too, but he said no. So we're gonna go and pick him up. But look at this. This is what Sophie bought Brandon. They're sour keys and they're monster size. Well, I want like 10 of them. Yeah, they're so, they're so, so cool. I love them. I'm like 50 and love candy. Is that weird? I just, oh, oh, I just walked down in a blizzard to the ponies with a baby. I carried a baby through the ice. Say hi. Oh, it's lunch time. It's one. We have to switch the horses over, so. Oh. Look, Jack. Look. She's interested in him. He's like, I'm not touching you. Look. What do you think? She wants to touch him. Look at her looking at him. This guy likes me. She's like a baby. What do you do with a baby? Hi, hi, princess. What do you think, Jack? Jack's like, ew. I do not like horses. Some hay in her stall. He Throw some hay in her stall. He ride well. Yeah, he should ride well, and one day he will. But right now, my arm is killing me. Cause you'll be heavy. Go set him on Willow. No. Look at the horse, Jack. her. <laughs> He's like, I think she better stay away. <laughs> she's pretty. Do you think she's pretty? So this might not look like much, but she's actually a lot better at this than she ever was before. Short girl problems. Yeah, before she wouldn't even come to us. Did you put hay in her stall? She needs water too. Uh oh, get her bowl out. Look, Jack. It's a pony. Look at the pony. <laughs> she wants to kiss him. He's like, no way. <laughs> it's a pony. What do you think? Willow wants to kiss Jack? Yeah. He's not taking his eyes off of her. You gotta get down for a minute. <sighs> Don't sit down though, because then your parents will think that I dropped you in the barn. Left you in the barn. <laughs> Imagine how hard horses and babies would be. It'd be a nightmare. Look at, he is a tiny baby. He's short and he's little. Come here, handsome. Do you hear them eating? They're eating. What do you think? Of Nana's horses. He's like, yeah, I don't really love them. <laughs> I think Jack hates horses. Oh, he's gonna love horses by the time he's, he's big. Nana's arm is broken just from that little carrying. Cause he's a heavy boy. He's really not heavy. He's probably only 20 pounds. Are you just gonna stand there all day? <laughs> the big one's scary. All right, come here to Nana.
okay. You're okay. You just gotta get used to being out there by yourself now and running and playing and having fun. Ow, don't bite my finger. I saw her throw a sass fit in. Yeah. Like that. See, Willow's not even doing it. Maybe this is what. Because she can. Before she was so subdued. Now she's like, woohoo! I'm a real person! Plus, mom, um, Minion. Hello. Here. Gracie's like, I'm back! Finally! Look, I can't even believe the weight she's lost. It's just so sad to me. I'm just so sad about it, Gracie. Go out there and eat. <laughs> Thank you. Sophia, all oh, horses want to kiss she you. She kisses now. There no, she goes. I'm not gonna go now.